Welcome back to the lab folks. Today we've got another mailbag for you. This is mostly components and tools. So uh, well, let's get started on it. These are just some 0.1 UF polypropylene capacitors. I just thought I'd get some more of these running low. These are just your average cheap Chinese flush cutters. I use these uh, in cases where uh, I might damage my, my nice Aram cutters and they so they often go, you know, the jaws get useless on me pretty quick. So uh, I need another pair and uh, I picked one up. This is a little scissors jack. Now I got this for a specific uh, project I have in mind. Uh, I want to, I want to build a, a little device to test the shutter speeds on cameras. I've got some old cameras, some very nice old Pentax cameras. I just want to check their shutter speeds and uh, they all have like a different based to center of the lens kind of distance. So this is going to be uh, for me to adjust that. That's what I got this for. I'm sure I'll find other uses for it once that little experiment is over. But uh, it looks like a pretty good little device. It works well. Andy dandy. These are little QX5252Fs. What, what these are, these are the, the, the little controller chips that are inside, um, you know, like outdoor LED lighting, you know, those little pod lights that go down beside your sidewalk and stuff like that. I thought I'd get some of these and just play around with them and see if I can use them for other things. It's basically just a little boost voltage converter and a battery charger. I'm gonna have a look at these probably in an upcoming video. Ah, there's some nice, uh, nice big alligator clips. I wanted to make up some more cables and uh, I thought I would get these really nice alligator clips. They look good. They've got a nice plastic coating on them for insulation. Now, these ones look like they can go directly on banana plugs, so I may just keep them that way, or I may find a way to solder or crimp wires onto them. Okay, I think these are thermocouples, if I'm not mistaken. That's exactly what they are. And I like this, this little format of the thermocouples. You put them into anything where you have a solid state device and you saw my previous if you haven't seen it i'll put a link to it a previous project i did on a little microcontroller based fan controller and I just attach this up to it and then you can control the fan based on temperature so yeah they're handy for that l7812s so they're voltage regulators I am running low on them, so I thought I'd get five more. More voltage regulators. So these are the the 74, 79L05 and 78L12. Yep, just stocking up. I think a lot of the stuff I'm getting this time are regulators and transistors and stuff like that. These are 2M3819s. I've never had these before, so I thought I'd get some and try them out. Okay, so these are SI4825-A10s. But these are our little uh, radio on a chip. Yeah, so I get, uh, you know, for fun, play around with these. Maybe uh, do a video on making a radio that doesn't work. Look for that in the future. More little TO92s. So these ones here are the 78L12. More regulators. You very well regulated around here. Ah, yes. These are... These are some uh, resettable fuses. So I thought I would get uh, half amp, one amp, and two amp. And try them out in some projects. There's a couple of uh, little iSesame opening tools or spudgers. These ones are, are favored by uh, Big Clive, so I thought I'd give them a try. I need one in my other lab, and I thought, oh, well, you know, I can get two for twice the price. So I got two. Just to keep one around as a spare. I have a spudger down here that works very well, but now I've got three. Well, what do we have here? So these ones are 2N6517 NPM ep epitaxial transistors, high voltage. I think they're good up to about 350 volts. 
These little guys here are 2N5060 sensitive gate circuit control rectifiers. And this seems to have two items in it. One over here, one over here. Let's see what this is. Ah, okay, so these, I've never, I've never used these before, so I've got some investigation to do. These are the, the little um, drill and tap all in one. So I've got uh, three millimeter, four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter, three millimeter, four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter, eight millimeter, and ten millimeter. And they all, they came as a set. And uh, yeah, I've got to figure out how to use these and see if they're any good. This here is a plastic liquid dispenser bottle. I got this for putting IPA into, because a lot of times I'm cleaning off stuff and you're trying to hold things at the same time and, and, and put, uh, put the alcohol on it. And in a lot of cases you need three hands. So uh, uh, let's put some IPA in it and see if it works. Give it a squirt here to prime it, see if that helps. So, let's see if this works now. Yeah. It does dispense a little bit of alcohol. Perfect. Okay folks, that's all I have for you today. Just this quick little mailbag they were building up here and, and I do want to get play around with some of these things. So. I decided I'd show you what I got. All right, we'll see you in the next video, guys. And that's going to be coming back to our DC load, uh, where we're going to stress it and find out its limits. And I need to be able to get something to get 20 amps through it. I need to try to see if it'll do 100 watts and whether it will hold the temperature at 100 watts. And I need to be able to adjust. There's a one resistor in it that needs to be calibrated because I've got a, a different meter than the one I showed before. That meter is uh, a higher current rate. The one I showed you before is only 10 amp, but I have a, a different meter to go in there. And I don't know what the resistance of the shunt in it is. So we're going to have to do a little experiment to find out how I can adjust that uh, resistor that I'm talking about so that the maximum, when you turn the thing up, the maximum will be 20 amps because I don't want to have to go beyond that. Um, those transistors will take more than that, but I'd like to be a lot of headroom and make this a very, very reliable little DC load. All right, we'll see you in that video. And if not, we'll see you in the next video that you come to see me. Bye-bye now.